and good evening. My name is Muhammad Irfan Bishan Sogarin and today I will be presenting uh, the question 1 for assignment calculus. One, okay? The topic is applications of integration. Okay. The question says two functions are defined as follows. fx is equal to negative x cubed plus x squared plus 16x and gx is equal to 4x. Okay. The question A. Use any graphic tool to represent the two functions and shape the region enclosed by two functions, then label it. Okay. The graphic tool that I use is GeoGebra. Okay. And the function is fx is negative x cubed plus x squared plus 60x. There you go. You put it in the GeoGebra and then they will plot the graph for you. Okay. And the second function is gx equal to 4x. Put in the GeoGebra and then there you go. The first one is the red one, fx, and the second one is dx, the blue one. Okay. And then the question asks us to check the region enclosed by the two functions, then level it. The region that is enclosed by the two functions is the one in between the two functions. Okay. So, so you see, this is the first one, and then this is the second one. So the in between is this part and this part right here. Okay. Uh, so, you shape it. This region and then this region. Okay? And then this region. This will be M. And this will be M. Alright. And then B. From A. Determine the coordinates of the intersection points of the two functions. Okay. So the intersection point of the two function is right here, one, and then this one, two, and then this one, the third one. Okay. So there will be three intersection, which is the first one, three, negative three, negative twelve. Okay. The second one is zero, zero, and then the third one is four, sixteen. Alright, that's B. And C, determine the area of the shaded region about the x-axis. Okay. The area for the shaded region can be counted by uh, integration of the uh, above graph, the graph at the top minus the graph at the, the bottom. Okay. So for M, uh, the graph at the top is GX. Okay. You can see the blue line is at, at the top and then the bottom is FX. You know, you see the right one. The bottom. But for n, for n, fx is above and gx is below. So uh, for m, integrate gx minus fx. But for n, integrate fx minus dx. Okay. So you can see here. Okay. Here. So area m is equal to gx minus fx. Yes. Okay. Integration of gx. Okay. So the limit will be. Uh, the lower limit will be the smaller one, smaller intersection. Yeah. That is negative three, and then zero. Okay. So the lower limit is negative three, and the upper limit is zero. Okay. So g x is four x, and f x is negative x cubed plus x squared plus sixteen x. Okay. So you just minus it together, and then the negative part will go like that. Okay. You multiply with each and every single one of this number. Okay. And then you simplify it and you get this x cubed minus x squared minus 12x. Okay. And then you integrate each and every single one of these. You integrate x cubed, you get x to the power of 4 over 4. You integrate negative x squared, you get negative x cubed over 3. You integrate negative 12x, you get 6x, negative 6x squared. Okay. And then you put in the upper limit, you get 0. And then you minus uh, the lower limit, you put it into the function here and you get this one. Alright? And you put, you put it in calculator and then you get 99 over 4 unit squared. Okay? Alright, that is for area M. Area M. So for area M, it will be integrate uh, fx minus dx. See? Integrate fx minus dx dx. Okay. So for the limit, it will be the lower limit will be 0 and the upper limit will be 4. Okay? So limit 0, upper limit 4. So fx is negative x cubed plus x squared plus 16x. gx is 4x. So fx minus gx. So like this. And then you simplify, you get like this. 
and then you integrate each and every single one of it, you get negative x to the power of 4 over 4, you integrate x squared, you get x cubed over 3, you integrate 12x, you get 6x squared, and then you put in the upper limit into the function, you get this one, and then you put 0 into the function, you get 0. So, the upper limit minus the limit. Okay, you get 160 over 3 unit squared. Okay, so the question asks us to find the area of the shaded region. So you need to sum both of them. Lah. You get uh, n plus n, and you get 99 over 4 from above here, and then plus dengan 160 over 3, you get this one, and then you get 937 over 12, or 78.08 units squared. That will be all. Thank you. Welcome, guys. Uh, today we are going to fix uh, integration of exponential e power 2x minus 1. We are using normal integration, also drama symptoms rule and symptoms rule. For first, we will start by normal integration. The question is e power 2x minus 1. Limit 1 to 0. By normal integration, e 2x minus 1 and the derivative of the power 2x two, uh, two and then the derivative of 2x is 2 and minus 1 for its constant will be 0. So this is the normal integration. And we have to put the limit, we have to substitute with the limit, we have to substitute with the limit. Uh, every position of x, we need to put, uh, every position of x, we need to substitute with 1 and also 0, like this. To x, to, for example, e, 2, and then here 1. This one is the upper limit. Minus 1 and then minus divided by 2 by e 2 and then this side 0 minus 1 divided by 2. 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1, it will be 1. So e we can write if we want to one also we can remove. And then on this side, two times zero is zero minus one. So it will become e minus one divided by two. For this part, we can remove like this. We can write e divided by two. And on this side we can write like this. One one divided by E. So the final answer is 1.3175. So we want to get this answer when we use Travis Eaton's rule. When we use Travis Eaton's rule. So we have something called N here. Yeah? Our N is equal to N. The formula of Travisian's rule is 1 divided by 2 and then here H, we will find that later and then here Y0 plus 2 and all the numbers like Y1, Y2, Y3, Y3 before we, uh, until, until we hit the plus 1 
If the H equal to B minus F, defined by F. So B and F, they are equal to the limit. And M, we already have here, N. So what we get here is 1 minus 0 divided by 8. 1 minus 0 is totally 1. And 1 divided by 8 is 0 0.125. So we have our H. So for here, we have to make a table. We have to make a table. Uh, 1, 0, 0. We have to start with 0. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. Formula 
So one divided by two for h, we get zero point two one two five. Zero point one zero point one two five. And then plus two. We have to add all the numbers before we reach a. For example, y one, y two, y three, until y seven. For example, here until here until we have to add all of them together. So what we get is uh, we get fifty. We get fifty. So when we add all of them together uh, until I guess one until I guess seven before we reach a, the result is seven point nine zero six seven. And then the last one, y n, the last one, y n is two point seven one eight two. So the final answer we get is one point two one point two one eight one three. For the traversers tool and also uh, Simpson's tool, it's not the really the exact answer, but it's just our association. So we get one point two one eight one point two one eight one three. And that's a little bit higher than answer we get in normal integration. For well, this time, we will try to use a uh, Simpson rule, and that will be more and more accurate for uh, traversing for the traversing rule. The formula of traversing rule. It's one divided by three. This one was one divided by h. One, this one was one divided by two. One divided by three, and then here h, and then here y zero. It will be same. It will remain same. Y zero will remain same. Plus four. At this time, all the odd numbers. All the odd numbers before we read the last number like yn, all the odd numbers we have to put here. For example, uh, x1 or y1, y3, y, uh, y6, y1, y3, y5, y7. y1, y3, y5. Y seven and then plus two bracket all the even numbers. For example, uh, y two, y four, y six. You don't need to reach eight because eight is the last one. Y two plus y four plus y six, and then the last one is. Y n. So let's put the numbers here and see what we get this time. So we get the same answer like this. One divided by three for H, we get 0 0.125, 0 0.125. Y zero. Y zero, it will remain the same. 0 0.3678. Plus four. We have to add all the things inside here. Y one, Y three, Y four, Y five, Y seven, and we get four point six five five. When we add all of them together, all the odd numbers, and then plus two. All the even numbers when we add all of them together. Y two, Y four, Y six. We get three. Point two five five two, and then the last one. Plus the last one. What was the last number? Two point seven one. Two point seven one eight two.
When we multiply all of them together, our final answer is 1.21756. And this is more accurate than Travel Sita is true. Thank you guys for your watching, for your uh, participating in the class. Hello everyone, today we will, talk, we will answer a question about the applications of differentiation. Here the question says, in a simple physical apparatus, distance x centimeter and y centimeter are, are connected by the equation 1 over x plus 1 over y, which equals to 1 over 9. If y is increasing at a rate of 8 centimeter per second, calculate the rate at which x is changing when x uh, our x equals to 15 centimeters. So the first thing we will do is we will write this equation, which is going to be 1 over x plus 1 over y, which equals to 1 over 9. Okay? And then the next thing we will do is we will, the next thing we will do is because here it's a differentiation, so we will, get, we will have to differentiate x squared and y. So we will do this. x squared plus sorry, uh, dy over dt minus 1 over y dy over dt, which is going to equal 0 because it is constant. Okay, and then the next uh, thing we will do here it says x equals to 15 centimeter. So what we will do is we will uh, replace x with 15. So the next thing we we'll do is 1 over 15 plus 1 over y, which equals to 1 over 9. Okay, square, square, and then. Then the next thing is we will, uh, we will what we will do is let's do is y equals to one over one over one over nine minus one over fifteen, and the answer is going to be forty five over two. Okay, everyone, and then here we will uh, square the 15, and then it's going to be dx over dt, which is going to be equal to, it's going to be equal to negative x squared. Then the next thing we will do is uh, take the 15 square over the answer that we got from this part. So it is going to be like this 15 square, it's going to be negative. Okay? And then it's going to be like this, it's going to be 45 over 2. And then we're going to times it, multiply it by 8 because here it says. It is going at a rate of 8 cm per second. And then, then here it will give us the answer of, once we put it in the calculator, it will give us the answer of negative 3.556 cm slash s. Okay, thank you everyone for your time.